Check out this nonsense. Doesn't take a genius to figure out that ain't right. Check this out. Look at all these bits and pieces of old tire. Wow. So you can see, it just busted off and went every which away. Now the upper tire still appears to be all there, but the bottom tire is, uh, it's, it's mostly in pieces. It's old and I guess it just got brittle. So how do you go about fixing something like that? Well, obviously you could get online and order a new tire that would fit that size wheel and wait for it to come. But I've had bandsaws in the past that have lost tires just from age and dry rot. And I've got a way to fix those. That has always seemed to work pretty good for me and I'm gonna show that to you today. Stay tuned. Now the first thing we have to do is get that thing out of there so we can get to it. We need to remove the tension on the blade so we can remove the blade itself. That should do it. Get that blade off of there a bit more. There we go. This blade's a little whacked out. This saw is just an inexpensive Ryobi. But you can tell it's not that old. And this tire is just completely garbage and it's just falling off of here. So what I've had good luck with in the past when it comes to replacing bandsaw tires, real simple, but it does work, electrical tape. Now this is one of these, I don't know what it is, it's, uh, it's like a half inch wide roll. It's a smaller roll, these come in a variety pack. You get like a white, a green, a blue, and a red. But this is pretty close. Oh, that's perfect. Fits right in that track. Now I'm just going to start laying that electrical tape in there and building up a thickness and uh, that blade will run just fine on there. The last saw that I had to do this with, I replaced the upper and the lower tire on the wheel and it lasted for years and I never had a problem with it. Let's do it. I want to put the tape on there so that the seam is always at the, at the seam is going to be, the, the butt end is going to be pointing downhill because that way it won't be running into the saw blade that it'll be, well you, you get the idea. I'm going to make sure I get this sucker cleaned up. I have a few pieces of junk here. There's a little piece of, a little touch of glue or something. There's quite a few actually. You know what? In order to clean this wheel up I'm just going to use its own power. That should be perfect. It should have knocked off any of the uh, any of the bumps and goofiness. It's not too bad. I think I'll hit it with just a little bit of sandpaper. This is a stupid idea. I'm gonna lose a finger. That should just about do it. Lay that tape in that channel and I'm just gonna start working it in there. Avoiding the temptation to turn on the saw and try to do it all in a second because I'm sure that's just a stupid idea even though it sounds like fun. This tape is just wide enough to do this. You know what, I'm doing this backwards. That's okay, I'll put the last couple coats on the other direction. Oh crap, I'm out already. Looks like I'm gonna need another roll or two. Come on. Come on, you dirty bugger. You can see I'm just not using anything I'm supposed to use for this job. Looks like I'm gonna need another roll of tape. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I got one more coat on there. And I'm still just a little bit shy of being up flush with the edges. So I'm going to put one more coat on there. This is all the tape I've got, so it's going to have to do. At that point, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take a razor blade, turn this sucker on, and trim off the edges. And uh, we'll see if it works. Such a horrible, 
angle to work at. Oh yeah, that's hard to film. And my bandsaw is not very stable. These are all things we must overcome and we will overcome it. It's all right. Maybe I can hold that spool where it plays out about the way it should. I'll be out here in a second anyway, so I guess it doesn't really make much difference. Help me. Okay, that'll work. Now I'm gonna trim off the excess. Fire this thing up, see what it does. I wanna want a nice sharp new razor blade for this. Fresh one, no, I'll just step at the handle. Beauty. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, I'm gonna fire this thing up and I'm gonna take off just a little bit of excess that's on the edges so that band doesn't have, because it doesn't have humps that it's riding up over top of. Now to make sure you wear safety glasses for this, or if you're like me, uh, you already wear glasses because for years and years you didn't wear safety glasses. And you get crap in your eye all the time. Let's get this sucker dialed in. We're just gonna use its own power. It's gonna be a little, a little hairy, but you know. Duty. I'm going to clear out the chips that came from the old tire. We'll throw our old band back on there. Make sure the teeth are going down. And get some tension back on this blade. Run it a little bit. Hard to tell. This blade's kind of bent out of shape. We're dealing with a bunch of variables, but will the saw work? That's the question. Voila! Let's see if it'll cut. Go ahead and turn it down a yard and a half. fine and not only is it cutting fine it's doing it all on that tire made from electrical tape I think the only thing that really needs to be kept in consideration is which way are the wheels turning and that the last bit of tape lands so that it's always going backwards against the blade and not coming into the blade and that blade turning over and over and over it's just packing it into a nice little track as long as you don't run up over the lips too much, you can always take a knife and uh, trim that edge off. And you've basically just built yourself a tire for your bandsaw for nothing. Always got to ask yourself, what would Red Green do? You'd make a bandsaw wheel out of electrical tape. Thank you guys for watching Bush Radical. I appreciate all the subs, appreciate all the interest. I hope this little exercise in Jimmy rigging a bandsaw is helpful to somebody out there. Because bandsaw wheels aren't really cheap and you have to make sure the size is right and you got to wait for them and yeah, whatever. Maybe you got a saw that you don't use just because it, the tires disintegrated and fell apart. And you don't want to put the money back into putting new tires on it. Go grab some electrical tape. It's like 50 cents a roll. And get the cheap stuff. Because, I mean, seriously, if you're just going to jimmy rig it, why, why spend any real money, right? I guess I better get back to cleaning my garage. Thank you guys for watching Bush Radical. My name's Dave Whipple. Be radical, eh? See you soon.